when traveling in a commercial airplane, you will be given instructions about what to do if the cabin pressure drops. You will be told that oxygen masks will drop above your seat and that you should put them on. The masks will provide fresh oxygen for over 10 minutes, during which time the pilot will descend the airplane to a safe height with enough oxygen. Now, have you ever wondered where that life-saving oxygen comes from? Do airplanes carry a large oxygen tank on board in case of emergencies when passengers need oxygen at high altitudes? Moreover, passengers are told that they must tug on the mask and pull it towards them to start the flow of oxygen. Why is that the case? What is the significance of the tugging action? The weight of air above us is responsible for atmospheric pressure, which is usually about 100 kPa at sea level. The air consists of various gases, with nitrogen being the most abundant gas at 78%, followed by oxygen at 21%. However, as you ascend to higher altitudes, the atmosphere becomes thinner, meaning there is less oxygen to breathe. This is why breathing on high mountain peaks may feel difficult, and the reason climbers often carry oxygen cylinders during treks to a summit. Commercial airplanes usually fly at an altitude of 35,000 to 45,000 feet. At this height, the pressure of oxygen is so low that humans cannot survive without an external oxygen supply to breathe from. To counteract this, airplane cabins are pressurized so that passengers and crew members can breathe easily. However, in an emergency, like a malfunction or accident, the airplane's pressurization system may get compromised. In such a case, oxygen masks stored in bins above all the passengers' seats will drop automatically. These oxygen masks are attached to chemical oxygen generators, also known as oxygen candles or oxygen canisters. These canisters contain a variety of chemical compounds, such as sodium chlorate, barium peroxide, potassium perchlorate, and iron powder. When you pull the mask towards yourself, it releases a firing pin that causes a small explosion. Yes, a miniature explosion starts the oxygen flow to your mask. This explosion starts a chemical reaction, during which sodium chlorate decomposes and produces sodium chloride and oxygen. The iron powder reacts with the released oxygen and produces more heat, decomposing more sodium chlorate and producing more oxygen. This ensures the uninterrupted flow of oxygen to the passenger through the mask. These oxygen candles can produce oxygen for at least 10 minutes, giving the pilots ample time to take the plane below 10,000 feet, where there is enough oxygen in the surrounding air and oxygen masks are no longer necessary. In movies, after the plane has descended to a certain height, the pilots often announce masks off to let people know that they can now breathe safely without their masks. There are many advantages to using oxygen candles. Firstly, they are compact and portable, which helps to minimize the weight of the emergency oxygen supply and save space, making them ideal for commercial airplanes. Additionally, the components of the candle have a long shelf life if stored properly, which means they can last for years and hopefully never need to be used. Oxygen candles are used on airplanes and submarines as emergency breathing equipment for firefighting crews and even on the International Space Station, the largest manned artificial satellite orbiting Earth. While modern airplanes are typically safe, it's important to remember that depressurization remains a rare but possible occurrence. If it does happen, it's essential to follow the age-old instruction of putting your own oxygen mask on before helping others.